Hey, what's up guys? I want to show you how to add audio per scene in OBS. So I'm going to share OBS. I'm recording this in Zoom just to make it easy. So you can see here in my main scene, I have my audio, in, uh, my audio interface coming in. And I've titled it this myself, but it's a Zoom H4n. And the way you get this is uh, first, you want to disable your global audio settings. Now by default, your interface or whatever USB microphone or audio source you're using is going to be in one of these. Uh, but I've actually disabled all of these. Well, I've got a cable B input there. That's a virtual cable that I use sometimes with Zoom. You can ignore that, though. You're safe to disable all of these audio sources because, all it, because they're global. Better way to do it, in my experience, for most situations, is to disable those, and then to come into your each scene, add audio input capture. So this captures whatever's coming into your computer like a USB mic, like an audio interface, like a headset with a microphone, anything like that. Audio output capture can be useful also. That's for sounds uh, that are from your computer going out, so maybe from a particular program or from Windows. Um, but in this situation, we're talking about how to get your audio sources into your computer, into OBS. So that's it. You add your audio input capture. You call it whatever you want. Soundboard, let's say. And then here's where, you de um, here's where you determine the input, whatever device you have connected. So that's it. That's how you add it there. Uh, side note, extra bonus tip. If you right click on any of these gears and go to advanced audio properties, here you can add delay to any of your audio sources so that they sync up with the video. There's also ways to add video delay, and we can talk about that in another video. Uh, but also useful is audio monitoring. So you can decide which of these sources you're sending to your monitor. Now, if you don't know where your monitor's going, go into your settings, audio, advanced. And there, they let you select one monitoring device. Um, here, you can see I have it set to cable A, and that's a virtual cable, so I can send that to Zoom or whatever. Uh, that could be useful. We're going to save that for another video as well. So hopefully you found this useful, how to add audio sources per scene in OBS. And that's very helpful because then if you switch scenes and you don't want your mic to be on that scene, let's say it's a Be Right Back screen or something, then you can have that automatically. As soon as you switch the screen, the microphone's cut off because it's not in that scene. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.